why bulking is bad. And this is from a, an overall health well-being point of view. And just my overall opinion on bodybuilding in my time doing it. So for the first part, I wanted to bulk up one season because wrestling just ended. I'm going from sophomore to junior year. I'm not exactly skinny, but I'm looking at all the state champions. I'm like, I can do this. I'm going to put on a lot of muscle. So what I started doing was just eating as well just, um, as much as I could. I would lift as much as I could. And I'd sleep as much as I could. Because I had the whole summer off to do whatever I wanted. And during that time period, I felt amazing like I was like full of energy and I was going at it and just my lifts were going up everything was going up but the thing is you'll eventually get like I got injured and then I tried to push through that injury and I mean that's your body telling you slow down hey man like you're trying to go too hard and I'm like it's the most simple form of mind-body awareness is like the physical pain you get from an injury. And I'm telling my body, nah, nah, that's not real. Like, just ignore it. My body's like, no, no, slow down. Like, back down. And I'm like, nah. And I just kept pushing and trying to tell my body what it needs to do. And there's points in time where that's a beneficial thing. If you're on the edge of some extreme thing if you're out in the wilderness or you're fighting someone and you're in pain you need to be able to overcome that mentally and be like no we need to like stay focused and do this but that's not a state you want to find yourself in that's not a state you want to make your life about that's not a state you want to constantly be living in and when you're doing what they do in wrestling doing what they do in bodybuilding where you're eating as much as you can in the off season lifting and then during the season you're as much cardio as you physically can do you're cutting the calories you're trying to get as shredded as you can as lean as you can cutting the water and you're like body do this do this do this do this you'll eventually wind up disassociating from your body and thinking it's a mind to body connection instead of a body mind circulation where you tell the body what to do, then you get feedback, and then you change your approach. And once I started doing that, my cortisol went down. And all of a sudden, I was able to get a much lower body fat than I was trying, than I could have ever gotten when I was cutting. Because my body was in the state of stress, and it's when it's stressed out, you're not going to get that lean. Your body's like, give me this nutrients stay this fat like we're gonna try to keep all the energy i can because something's wrong in my environment and i need to make sure i have reserves when you're in a state of peace and you're not doing any major cuts any major things you're just kind of gradually progressing down lower you'll find one it's sustainable and two you actually can do it better than the yo-yo diets. I've tried yo-yo diets. I've tried... Well, I've done extreme diets to get lean. And the best advice I can give for anyone in that situation is make slow changes like listening to your body when you're hungry. Like, am I actually hungry or am I thirsty? When you're eating, eat slow, fully chew your food because that helps with the digestion, but then also contemplate, am I full? Am I satisfied? Am I eating for pleasure now? And being more mindful and more aware of where that satisfied versus pleasure boundary lies really helps in one Further establishing the mind-body connection and then two, you just be able to become leaner 
and enjoy it more. And then the second thing I would say is slow down while you're eating. And this is one thing I've started doing because I will wolf down my food, barely chew it in giant chunks. And my friend's like, hey man, like I was doing some research and when you do it like that, your body is thinking, wait, what, what is up with this? Like, are we stressed out? Is like a lion trying to kill us? Like what's, what's happening? Why do we have to eat so fast? So slowing down and enjoying your food, thoroughly chewing it, not only helps de-stress you, you can enjoy the flavors of it, but you also are able to work your saliva into it, which I mean, might gross people out, but like, yeah, your saliva is a big part of digestion. Like chewing your food helps to better your gut and improve your overall health. 